A Jet Grid Builder is an interesting and 100% free plugin that lets you get creative with your posts, pages, or product layouts using a simple drag and drop grid system. It's a really simple solution to create a more unique grid layouts that would be perfect for WooCommerce stores or for eye-catching blog layouts where you show off your selected posts or post categories. In fact, there's probably hundreds of really cool use cases for this free plugin. Now, in this quick video, I'm going to take you through the two included widgets and how to build your first set of grids. So this is the Jet Grid Builder plugin, and as you can see, it's absolutely free, and it has two different options, the Post Grid Builder and the Terms Grid Builder. So I'm gonna break this video down into two separate parts and show you how each one of these works. So we'll start with the Post Grid Builder, but before we do, let me just say that don't be sort of confused by the fact it says Post. It can still work with products if you've got WooCommerce installed. It can also work with categories and things like that. So there's a lot of options available, which makes it really quite cool. So let's just jump over now into Elementor. I've created a page already set up. Nothing is inside you except for just a blank column. Okay, so we've got two widgets. Let me just search for grid. And you can see the first two options, the post grid builder and the terms grid builder are the widgets we have available as part of this free plugin. So let's start off with the posts because it's the most obvious one and probably the one that most people will use. Just drop that onto our section Make a little bit of space for this. We'll just open up a little bit of space at the top and bottom just to give it a bit of breathing room. And then we have, well, basically the fundamentals of this particular widget. We can add our posts directly inside here, or we can just choose the options over on the left-hand side and add posts from that section. And as you can see, it's all pretty straightforward. So let's add a couple of posts in. And as you can see, once we do that, we have access to anywhere that we could pull information from so posts pages products there's also an elementor plugin that's installed but for this example we're going to keep this really straightforward go for products and you can see once we do that it then lists all the products available obviously if it shows pages or posts all of those will be displayed so what i do is i'm going to choose four of these actually let's go for five we'll hit select and then we just get to see what looks like a pretty standard grid if we scroll down a little bit you can see where we've got three items in the first row and the second item has two you can see we've got this grid option behind it this sort of box grid we can disable that if we want to we can just uncheck that box and it removes it but it still works in the background and this is just a guideline grid so it allows us to easily see how we can sort of stack things how much space we've got how many rows or columns each different sort of post or product is actually taking up now to resize and position anything is very simple and straightforward if you want to reposition it you can drag it into a new position and you can see we can drag these around as easy as anything if you want to delete one of these you can simply click on the delete icon the little trash can icon you can click on edit and that'll take you back where you can select different posts or pages or products or whatever it is if you want to resize these which is where the real power of this comes in we can just grab this bottom right hand corner and we can then just start to change the scale of anything do the same thing we'll come over to this one and we'll just drag that over and you can see now we're starting to get a more customized layout we'll bring this one up in line and now we just created a two by three grid all really super easy if you want to resize the height of this we can just simply drag this down and you can see everything will adjust accordingly including these little spaces in between so it's a really easy really intuitive much more like an app than it is like working inside a browser but using this you could get really quite creative to create some really good looking sort of product listing pages or blog pages or post pages things you may want to draw attention to and create as a kind of feature really easy to work with now on top of the grid we've also got some extra options if we take a look on the left hand side we can see exactly how we can set the grid up we've got things like a gutter so we can adjust that if we want to we say we may want to have this set to 20 and you can see the nice thing is that will update your design on the page automatically when you make those changes if you want to if you were used to working with a certain grid kind of layout you can set those values inside here for the number of columns. You can see we've got Woo items type. If you were using Jet Woo Builder, you could use an archive inside here and the Jet, uh, the Woo item style. Again, you can see we've got different styles we can work with to get exactly what we kind of want. So it's pretty cool, really nice and simple to work with. If you have a lot of items, you can use a loading spinner. So just to give some kind of visual interaction with anybody that's watching this and waiting for content to load you could have a spinner on there and you can see show spinner until media loads 
you can enable or disable that and you also change the spinner type as well I would highly recommend if you check this out just to have a little play about with it to see how it all works it's a really straightforward plugin to be honest you post item then you can see we can adjust things so we can say we may not want to have the thumbnail on there you can change the style size sorry you can enable disable things like the title the word count the author all those kinds of useful bits of information and obviously it depends on the kind of thing you work with this is for the post items where we're working with WooCommerce you can see we can get rid of star ratings if they're being used. We can disable the category if you want to. We can remove the price from there. You can take the add to cart off. So you may be just using this as a really simple example of showing things where you don't want people to buy straight from here for some strange reason, but you could disable that if you wanted to. With those things being said, you've also then got the styling options and obviously you can style all the various different things if you want these to be styled differently. So I'm not gonna worry too much about that, but. All pretty self-explanatory, I would say. But what is quite nice is when we switch to a different responsive mode, so let's just go, for example, to tablet. When we change anything on here, this is independent of the desktop version, and the same goes for the mobile. So you can see it doesn't look that great on here at the moment, so we need to open these up. Well, we can drag those down, we can adjust them. All nice and easy in a nice, simple drag-and-drop way. And then we'll switch over to mobile for example and we'll say well we don't want to have it like this because it looks a bit terrible let's just adjust the size of i'll just do the first couple just so you can kind of see but you can tell it's really straightforward to work with we can then just adjust any of these to make sure they look exactly how we want well let's just position that one sorry that's just jumped around a little bit where i've been moving things really quite simple and straightforward and you can see when I switch back now to tablet mode, for example, we go back into that previous layout and we switch back to desktop mode, which is back to that layout. So it's nice to see it's fully responsive straight out of the box. We don't need to do anything other than simply change the sizes to whatever we want to make sure everything looks good across three different device sizes. So let's just quickly take a look at this now. Let's just update the page and we'll preview it in the browser so we can see exactly what it looks like. And there we go. Everything looks exactly the way it was when we set it out inside the editor in Elementor. So really cool, really easy to work with. So that's the first set of options. Let me just get rid of this and let's take a look at the next widget that we have. So again, let's just do a search for grid. And this time we're gonna pull in the terms grid. Now this is kind of perfect if you're working with something like WooCommerce or you have a blog and you want to create a more fancy looking setup to show the different categories, for example, your categories of your products and so on. Obviously you do need to do a couple of things and I'll show you what I'm talking about in a moment. Now, first of all, we need to do the same as before. We need to add some content to this before we can do anything else. So let's just add terms. And again, you can see we have those options on the left-hand side to choose what terms we want. So categories is to do with your posts, tags again for your posts. We also have product categories and product tags. So let's choose the product categories. And you can see that pulls in all the categories that I have available for my particular WooCommerce shop. You'll notice that the cactus has an image where everything else doesn't. I'll show you in a moment how you can set that up because even if you set a graphic up for your categories, you'd still have to change it or apply a different one for this particular plugin. So I say I want to have something like plants, cactus, decor, and music, and we'll click select. And again, you can see it pulls everything in like we saw before. Now, I'm gonna take you through the different options we have on the left-hand side because they're pretty much the same if not a cut down version of what we saw in the first example. And then I'll show you how you can go about setting up the images to make sure that this isn't quite ugly like you can see it right here. So what do we have? Again, you've got your gutter, so we can easily change that based upon the different types of devices. And again, you can change this gutter for any of your, your devices. Number of columns, all those things are still exactly the same. Term items, you can come in and you can see we can control exactly how we see things, what we see, what we want to hide, all those kinds of useful information. So I think you could probably figure most of those things out yourself. And if you're kind of not sure what's going on, just check the option and see exactly what happens. Styling, again, all there like it was in the first option. So let's just update this. And let me just come out of here, back into our dashboard. And we're going to go into our categories for our products. So let's just jump out of this and go back into products and come into our category section. And you can see, there's our cactus. I've applied an image to that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing now for our plants example. So we'll edit this. And you can see we've got the thumbnail option. So we could click on there and we could say, well, we want to use this image, for example. But that won't actually set anything up for 
this particular grid builder plugin. We need to set the thumbnail for the terms grid builder. So we we'll click on there and just select the same thumbnail. Once we click update, now if we take a look at our test page, we'll see that our plant section now has an image inside it, whereas decor and music don't. So all we need to do is go and set those up and we've got everything in place. But that really is all there is to this, this plugin. But what I really do like about it is A, it's free, which is always a good bonus. But if you don't need to rely upon dynamic data, you want to create something that's just a little visually eye-catching for your blog, for your online store, whatever you kind of want to work with, this is a really cool and an interactive way of working. And I think this would be perfect if you have clients that are not necessarily tech-savvy, but they could quite easily get their head around how to use this and then give them the ability to quickly and easily go in and customize their own layout and design using Jet Grid Builder. Now, if you want to get more out of WordPress and WooCommerce with some awesome and totally free plugins, I'd highly recommend taking a look at this playlist next. Now, if you found this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up button. But if you didn't, well, you can hit the thumbs down button twice because that seems to work pretty well too. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash the bell icon, and check out all the relevant links in the description below. My name's been Paul C, this has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.